Do you guys remember this girl? Now this girl was a giant meme that impacted the whole internet in the times of 2012. Now she was originally known for this Justin Bieber concert video competition video where she made a her own parody of the Justin Bieber's If I Was Your Boyfriend song and she made a funny creepy face and twisted it up to kind of make her own thing and it actually ended up being a lot bigger than she would imagine. And what Nix is very interesting is that this girl's face looks very creepy like it could look like a potential serial killer hence is why this whole thing became a giant meme not just the video itself but also the face itself too. The video ended up becoming such a big hit which ranked about 21 million views and oh my god guys that would be a really cool thing if my channel got 21 million views but hey maybe one day or maybe not but either way it's pretty cool to at least get at least one million but she was not done yet she went ahead and decided to make another parody skit which was called the Carly Rae Jepsen's parody song of Call Me Maybe involving the psycho ex-girlfriend switcheroo once again and you guessed it guys that video also got 20 million views ranked to this day and yeah it's really cool. What's up everybody? I'm a Marx and today I am going to tell you the story origin and what happened to the girl of the overly attached girlfriend girl and where she went. So obviously this person actually has a name and is actually a normal human being you know because memes are not just ordinary objects and shit they're actually humans. Her name was Lena Morris. She is from and resides in Denton, Texas. Okay, so a lot of people are wondering is how did this girl even become famous and what was she even doing before this internet sensation happened? Okay, so Lena was just a part-time employee working at a, a mail place called the Packing Mail in Denton, Texas and also going to college around there too. And what's really interesting is that she decides just for fun to see a Justin Bieber video concert competition type thing, right? And she was very intrigued to be enter, but not for the reasons you would think. She was basically fascinated by the origin of Justin Bieber's history and legacy of how he blew up and became a musician. So Lena decided to take this opportunity, right? So she went home after work the next day, put on a green teal t-shirt and started getting, putting on her webcam and started getting right to work on what she was about about to create. So this video was mainly a reason just for fun, just to create stuff for her friends and family on social media, mainly for just personal reasons on Facebook, right? And she was not intentionally trying to go viral or anything. She just wanted those Justin Bieber tickets. Now, what makes this video extremely iconic is that she decides to get all weird just for fun and stare her face, uh, her face into the webcam really creepily while the song's playing before her lyrics and everything go down. And that's what really makes the whole meme take off. But then the song and the lyrics that no one really mentions is actually very clever and really funny. If I was your girlfriend, I'd drive you up the wall. Question here with, yeah, I'd always call and call. I wouldn't call it jealousy, just looking out for you. Reading all your texts, watching everything you do. Nag, nag, nag on you. Ask all about your past. And Facebook stalk you too. I don't care about them, I just care about us. So say hello to a girlfriend you should trust. Trust, yeah. When she did finally post the video to Facebook, that everybody really seemed to enjoy it in her personal group. And then someone off the internet decides to grab it and then share it on, her, on Reddit, right? And that's where the video really exploded and went viral. And not very shortly after she blew up that she was recognized by pretty much everyone around the world just for making a stupid silly face. And everyone in her hometown wouldn't stop signing for autographs in Denton, Texas. Because I guess it was a really small town. And I guess a lot of people don't get a lot of chairs or popularity stuff coming from that town. So of course they'd want to come and get her autograph. So these parodies and some other limb syncing projects that she did after is what really started her YouTube channel. So then she just starts to create her YouTube channel and tries to go at it for a couple years. So when she did start her YouTube channel and everything that she had some few issues where that she, everyone would want to see her do her face again that creepy stare face but not actually be interested in the actual content itself. Don't get me wrong she did get a decent amount of audiences around like a hundred fifty to a hundred thousand views a video which is still pretty good and I would be freaking really jealous of anyone who could reach that but yeah she just struggled to reach that 20 million million 20 million million views marks or at least averaging around like a million views per video but that's okay though because she did have a decent audience still while she did make in fact make a few cameos and did make more references to the overly attached girlfriend meme that all of a sudden that you can't really exactly milk the same thing all the time just to keep the views coming because over time it'll get old and stuff like that you don't want to be a one-hit wonder so she just wanted to try to branch out and be her own thing so everyone could at least eventually appreciate her but there was a 
diehard audience from those viral videos that did stick with her throughout the whole time to really show her content. And it wasn't very many as much as she wanted, but there was some diehard viewers at least that was able to get her a decent amount of just viewership on her channel. And then all of a sudden that she stops uploading less and less frequently and then it gets to a point where she would upload like once a year explaining why she did upload and what her life updates were and then trying to promise she would do more videos but she never ended up doing them except make those yearly updates. And then eventually in 2019 she calls it quits and decides that YouTube is too much for her mental health and she was going through a severe hard time behind the scenes without really showing it to us until the final video where she actually was very brave enough to show us her struggles on camera because she would like to vent her personal problems on camera because she was going through a pretty rough time mentally. Now, I'm not this super viral, insane, big YouTuber as much as I'd like to be, but yeah, I couldn't imagine that super high demanding from the audience because not everybody handles pressure very differently, and some people just crumble and can't handle it very well, and some others do an okay job, but I'll still kind of be super stressed, but they still kind of push through and get videos out and stuff. Is YouTube's a lot of a heart, more of a more stressful job than most people think, and it can be very hard if that's your only source of income. So when Lena did quit YouTube, that she was kind of disappeared from the flat of the earth for a while because I don't blame her dude because when you're mentally feeling messed up you really don't want to do anything but not post anything you just kind of want to sit around and probably work on yourself if you can and hopefully things get better now a lot of people are wondering is that where did this overly attached girlfriend go and how is she doing well there's actually some good news every once in a while she is active on Twitter occasionally posting something every once in a while not very often but you do see and she does get a decent amount of likes and stuff from her Twitter audience but what's really very cool is that actually she has been active on her Instagram and she's actually been making recently more limb syncs and more of her old stuff in similar ways when she wants to. It's not necessarily her making content on Instagram but it's kind of you can kind of tell she's kind of doing it just for fun but it's still kind of cool to see. And she actually references that overly attached girlfriend meme once again on her Instagram going through an Instagram filter. And I'm going to show you guys a clip to kind of get a see for yourself. Wow, I can't wait to become a meme. Your mom leaves you alone with the guy. <laughs> I mean... As much as I would like to show the other clips on my YouTube channel, that I don't want to get copyright claimed by YouTube's very oddly strict and very unfair botting copyright system. So I'm just going to leave the link in the description so you can check out those Limsick videos. But she also has pictures of her just kind of living her life and doing her own thing. And, it, and she looks and seems to be a lot happier than she was going through on her YouTube channel back in 2014. Now, will this overly attached girlfriend meme character, Lena Morris, actually return to YouTube at, at some other point in her life? Um, honestly, I don't know her personally, so I don't know, but there could be a possibility with these little things on social media, but if not, that's pretty cool that we at least get to know that she's okay. Okay, guys, if you happen to get this far into the video, thank you guys for watching and hearing about Lena Morris's story and what happened to her. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. I've been grinding pretty hard and I think I think this channel is going to grow very fast this year because I did have a video of the one man one jar video I made right. It's actually gotten a lot of views recently skyrocketing. Unfortunately of course it's not monetized but I don't care dude. The exposure and the fact that people are watching is really cool. If you guys happen to enjoy the video make sure to leave a like if you really enjoy my content. Make sure to subscribe so we can get close to 7,000 subs soon because we're already at 6,200 and 7,000 subs man we could get that really quickly and I think I'm confident we could very soon. Until further ado guys I will see you guys in the next video so adios amigo.